Welcome back to Let's Play Mount and Blade with Fire and Sword. We actually had progress yesterday, which means that, well, last time, which means that we are not going to have any progress today. We are going to Tapiao, which sounds like tapioca, but isn't. And it's actually not that far away. We are going to go and ransom a girl. Yay, we pay people. Let's see, my party, I have 56 of 63, so I'm actually missing some people. Okay, there's the party awaiting ransom. 29 plus 1. See, they have a kidnapped girl. So we are going to talk to them. Now, we need to say, take the money, just set the girl free. They agree, and we're done. And there's the girl. Let's go talk to her. Make sure that during these during these uh, missions that you have a free space so you can actually let her in. Now, here's the part that I probably shouldn't be doing, but we're going to do anyways. Now we attack them. You gave us the money. We have more business with you. Actually, we do have more piece of business. You will turn the money to me. Oh, that business! Of course! All right, let's get to it. I, I just... I love how willing he is to die. So this time we're going to take... We're going to be careful about it. Marksman here. Infantry here. And the cavalry are going to follow me. That better not be the kidnapped girl. That's the kidnapped girl. Wow. I was not aware that she would actually be joining us in battle. Uh, one thing you should note. I love that mini-map. It's going to be so useful. Uh, one thing you should definitely note is that cavalry can flank. This is very useful in all ways at all times. You can move to the side of them, and they're not always going to be uh, ready for you. Uh, this is one thing you should always do with cavalry. Just get to the side and attack from the side. Uh, this is most especially important in Fire and Sword because unlike Warband, I noticed, pikemen actually work. They actually do what they're supposed to do. Why do I keep on pressing R? They do what they're supposed to do, which is couch their lances and wait for the enemy to pile into them. They actually, in other words, do what pikemen do. Uh, pikemen are anti-cavalry. So this game actually does that. So you want to attack from the side so that way you're not going right onto the pikes. Apparently, I cannot shoot worth a damn. See? That's four misses in a row. And uh, we gotta hunt down the last guy. One great way to find out where the enemies are? Follow your friends, because they have this preternatural ability to see where anything is. So we lost four. We, we had two wounded, and the four we lost were, like, cavalry annoying. Pikemen, which we had a ton of. We got some wounded. We owned them. One thing you'll notice that did not happen. We are not going to get all of our money back. Oh, well. We didn't even really get any good rewards, either. Ah, and I am out of space. Fixable. See? Not as much money as we should have gotten. But some soldiers in the party are ready to upgrade. Let's get some um, militiamen. Musket militiamen. And now we can head back and do this. And that is some, uh, you know, less enemies on screen than we would normally have to deal with. Let's see. Get back here and... S Thank you for saving my life. It's been horrible here. And it doesn't do much else for us. So, I'm ready for a reward. How about you? Hi, give me money. Twenty dollar for all of that. Yep. But, oh, they like us more. Hey, Mayor, got any other work you need? Hey, caravan escort, we're not gonna do, just because it's not... Yeah. Caravan escort just is not worth it. Unless you're escorting your own caravan, you're not gonna get paid for it, but you'll get a lot more money. There is, of course, the chance that you're going to end up seeing a lot more enemies when you uh, escort a caravan. Uh, it seems like they actually just straight up attack you for no reason, but just not all that worth it. Talk about a trade, send a caravan. Ooh, oil, 324. I could actually make a decent amount and crack off. That's a small caravan. Uh, how about salt? Medium caravan. Ooh, a 
Yeah, you know what? We're gonna send a big caravan to Krakow. I don't see if he actually has any work for us. And that is so not gonna happen. Uh, running cattle is just as bad as running a caravan, except cattle are stupider. A caravan will at least follow you. Cattle, you actually have to work with. Former Queen Christina is the rightful queen of Sweden, if I remember correctly. No guy is pretty good, but he refuses to work with the Crimeans. Uh, he hates them. So he'll get really pissed if you do anything but attack them. I'm pretty sure he's actually pretty good, but I'd like to avoid, uh... Waging war. Hey, more halberdier, but I need more men. Now, I'd love to pledge myself to former Queen Christina. I'd like to actually, during this Let's pay, Play, put a um, pretender on the throne. It would be fun. But you have to have a very l good reputation. I mean, your um, reports, your renown has to be particularly high for them to work with you. And I just don't quite have that yet. There go some deserters. Ooh, they have a winged hussar. Wait, let me see if I can catch up to these guys. Eh, no, that's not gonna happen. Winged hussars are particularly good. Uh, they're they're like the uh, Swedish riders. They're just ah, crap. I have lost. Tra There's my caravan. They're just great to have. Uh, I'd love to have some in my party. Powerful and yeah. Plotsk. I think they have lost the Plotsk. You see what I did there? I added an unneeded sk. I'm gonna make that jo joke again sometime when we get around Smolensk. Which is over there somewhere. And I am not even gonna touch this one. Nope, too easy. We make money! Okay, let's see what Krakow has for us. Caravan escort. Not gonna happen. Trade. Let's see. What does he have? Dies. Medium caravan at dies could be nice. Tools. Done. We are going to make about 3,000 in profit right now. So you can see why I'm willing to do that. It's a good thing this game, unlike uh, Republic Commando, doesn't have a lot of music stuff. So that way I don't have to have it turned up. You guys are probably bored, at, bored of it after a while. Then again, I'm sure half of you by now have me on mute anyways, so... Oh, I can speed things up. Because it's very rare for uh, actual caravan to get picked off by bandits. Uh, and it's particularly rare to be attacked just randomly by uh, actual people who could do anything. Let's see, there's still a little salt here, but they don't really have anything to f fund any sort of... um caravan. Let's make our way over to Vilna. Now, if you go to the town center, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, academies train up your NPCs in various skills. Weapon masters, you can actually request a really good weapon, but you're looking, I mean, I can show you, you're looking at a very excessive price. Uh, we're looking at 100000 here, so it's yeah, you're going to be rich by the time you get there. And then horse masters, same thing for horses. There's the armor master, same thing for armor. The merchant guild is the one I want. You can actually deposit money and you make money. Uh, so this is actually how much you intend to deposit, not how much you actually have. So we're going to reduce that to about 5,000. Now keep in mind, it's not easy to work with the uh, guild. You can't just take your profit. You actually have to take everything and then put stuff back, which is kind of annoying. And also keep in mind, what I just did is a very long-term thing. Uh, this is not a quick and easy solution. 
but we're not actually, actually just not going to need that money because I don't intend to start buying any real um, anything for a while. Eventually, I'm going to upgrade my armor and my weapons, and then I'll slowly start working on the NPCs. As um, bad as it sounds, I am much more important than they are, because if I go down into battle, we lose. If they go down in the battle, I just get them again later on. Let's see. Oh, don't want to trade. Want a job. Okay, this mission is a little more annoying than the previous ones. Because uh, the looters, it's not one party, it's multiples. Let's see if I can catch up to this guy. So you actually do have to hunt down multiple looters, and you fail the quest if you don't get them all. Luckily, they will all spawn around the castle. But as you can see, we actually have to catch up to them. And notice notice the, the stones on this guy. I hunted him down with 56 guys to his 5, and he still says he's robbing me. Sorry, 60 to his 9. And we're just going to take this easy and do the standard thing. Because so I'd like to not lose guys. So useful. I wish I had had this earlier. Oh, wrong button. Notice that they're. Wow, that was a fail. Look, notice that these guys are actually chasing me. No one else. In terms of video game design, I have to say that's almost as bad as Rubber Band AI in a racer. How did I hit that guy? Can someone explain how the physics on that one went? By the way, faster you go, harder it is to aim. Not that you'd notice. Okay, one thing you can notice, especially with that guy out there, is that unlike previous games, uh, Warband especially, uh, which is where I have uh, over 130 hours into that game on one playthrough, that was kind of ridiculous. Routing enemies does not require them to um, necessarily be losing. Uh, what I've noticed is that enemies will route based on how much damage they themselves have taken and how many enemies nearby uh, have died. And Ingrid does not like Sarabun, but I have to say, I like him, and I would like to have him here. So, Sarabun is a valuable member of this company, I don't want you to make any more fights with him. That said, Cerebun might actually leave eventually. Uh, he seems to have this weird habit of just vanishing. So, if I had to choose between them, I'd have to choose Angry, because I like having her, because she's good at uh, markets, and anybody will end up doing them. Um, hello. Ah, forgers. Uh, anybody can end up doing uh, surgery. Cerebun just happened to have several skills I like. We trying to find the other looters. Now keep in mind, I do have a lot of time to do this. Uh, they give me something like 30 days to get this done. Sorry, 20. I wonder if I could spell my name with the arrows from tracking. Let's go talk to Robert Douglas. Looks like he got in a fight recently. Come here, you. And so we meet again. I want a special mission. Fine, I want a task. Why does every... This guy is... Pol... This guy at Polotsk, this guy, he is too popular. Ooh, hello, looter. I see you, you little jerk. Where'd you go? And, uh... Never worry... Too much... When, uh, enemies spot you... And you lose sight of them in the, in the night... Because a lot of the times when that happens, you'll catch them up again. Okay, we have more plague, but we're also at the end of a mission or end of a uh, episode. So I'll see you guys next time.